सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एएमसी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज सो आई एम गोइंग टू कवर ऑल द टॉपिक्स अबाउट दिस कॉलेज व्हाट आर द मोड्स ऑफ एडमिशन व्हाट आर द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया फीस स्ट्रक्चर एंड द प्लेसमेंट्स ऑफ दिस कॉलेज इज दिस कॉलेज वर्थ इट और नॉट सो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एवरीथिंग सो इफ यू वांट टू नो इन डिटेल अबाउट एएमसी इंजीनियरिंग कॉलेज जस्ट स्टिक टिल द एंड ऑफ दिस वीडियो एंड बिफोर स्टार्टिंग इफ यू आर न्यू टू माय चैनल जस्ट सब्सक्राइब टू इट and uh, if you want uh, to know about the private colleges i have made uh, many reviews on the private colleges you can see the playlist you can check it i will attach a link in the description and uh, yeah if you are finding more private colleges just uh, comment down the name of the college and i will make a video on it so now without any further ado let's get started So yeah, guys, AMC Engineering College. It is established in 1999, and it has a big 50-acre campus, and it is located in Bangalore, Karnataka, and the location is quite good. Like, uh, it has a nearby IT sectors, and also yeah, the location is good, and it is approved by AICT and NBA, and it is affiliated to VTU University. So this is all about like a basic overview of this college. Now let's see what are the programs available in the B Tech of this college. So there are also M Tech courses and BSc like that. I will attach the link in the description of the their official site. You can go and check it out. In this video, I am going to talk about the B and B Tech courses. Okay. So now let's see the courses which are provided here are Computer Science and Engineering, AI ML, Information Science and Engineering, Electronics and Communication Engineering, Mechanical Engineering, Electrical and Electronics Engineering, Civil Engineering, Mechatronics, Aeronautical Engineering. So these are all the programs which are offered here in the B Tech courses. And if you talk about the number of seats and the best branches here, the ECE, Computer Science and Information Science and Engineering, these three are the best branches. And you can get around 255 seats in the CSE. The seats are a lot in the CSE department. And Information Science, you will get 130 seats to 150 seats. It, it increases every year. Okay. And if you talk about the Electronics and Communication Engineering, it is around 190 seats. So this is all the basic overview of the seat intake of the programs available. Okay, so now let's see what is the eligibility criteria to get admission in this college. So if we talk about the eligibility criteria, you, it is just simple like all other college. Like in the aggregate of PCM, you need 45 percentage marks. And if you have any reservation like SCST uh, and you are a domicile uh, of the, in the Bangalore, then you can get a 40 percent like it is 5 percent relaxation. For normal general, it is 45% uh, eligibility criteria, and for reservation, it is 40%. Okay, so now let's talk about the modes of admission. So there are mainly three types of modes of admission. The first one is Comet K, second one is KCET, and the third one is JMS. Comet K is for all other students who are outside of the Karnataka. KCET for the Karnataka students, and JMS is a kind of a direct admission and a course. It is combined with that. So if you talk about uh, Comet K, around from 50K, 30K, uh, you will get uh, CSE uh, and uh, till 50K you will get ECE and all. So this is an uh, approx uh, cutoff I can say. And uh, if you talk about the Karnataka peoples, uh, you can go through the KCET, through the counseling and there is also a direct admission or based on the JE mains you can get. So if you want admission in this college, you can uh, contact me, uh, there is my Instagram and also there is a number given in the description, you can contact me from there if you want admission in this college. So after it, let's see what is the fees structure, the main thing that every student see before going to the college, like what is the fees structure, is it costly or not? So if uh, I talk like the total fees, it will take around 4 years is 12 lakh only, including hostel and mess fees, so it's quite okay. Like uh, many colleges are taking like 15 lakh, 20 lakhs, but it is okay. Yeah. So according to the official site, you know, academic fees is around 1.75 lakh per year, and hostel and mess fees is around 1.30 lakh per year. So combining them for four years, it costs around uh, approx 12 lakh. It can go little up, little down. So it varies every year. Okay. So this is the basic fee structure. If you want to de in detail. I will attach the fee structure in the description, you can check it out, okay? After this, let's see what is the placement, the main thing that every student wants in the college, like the placement is good or not. So the average is around 4.5 lakh per annum and uh, it's quite uh, decent I can say for the private colleges uh, in this fees and uh, the highest uh, is uh, 12 lakh per annum here, which is uh, offered in 2019. Placement percentage is about 80%, 75%, it's around it. 
and companies like Wipro, Infosys, TCS, Boss, Intel, Dell, Amazon, Flipkart came here. So companies visiting are quite okay. Nice uh, number of and nice, uh, namely companies are coming, MNCs are coming here. And the one good thing is here is the uh, placement cell is very active. Like uh, they are in taking a good amount of companies and uh, quality companies here. So yeah, this is all about the placement and all about the college. So if you want to know anything else, you just comment down or you can just DM me in the Instagram. I will message. I will. You can just DM me in the Instagram. I will reply you. And uh, after it, let's see what is my final verdict. Like you should go in this college or not. So let's see the positive points at first. College life is good here. Actually, I can say that uh, like fest, like Melange, Collegium, etc. are here. So fests are organized here. The so college life is good. And if you see the activities are also done here. The sports uh, act team is active here. So yeah, college life should be good here if you want to enjoy. Campus location is also good. Uh, Bangalore is like very good city. The weather is also good, and it is a IT hub. I can say. And if you talk about the scholarships, is also provided here. Like uh, according on your marks of 10th or 12 boards, or if you have any reservation, or if you have domicile of Karnataka, you will get a scholarship here easily. So yeah, these are all the positive points I can say about this college. And uh, if we talk about the negative, like cons, the quality crowd is not that much here, and uh, yeah, master creators are much here. Like. Uh, uh, dream companies are not uh, here I mean, that much. Mass recruiters are only coming like DCS, Wipro for recruiting mass number of students. So, yeah, these are all the pros and cons, little much cons I can say in this college. And uh, when, when you should take this college, like if you are not getting an, an IT, IIT, Jalapur, Bismillah, like T1, T2 college, if you are not getting, then you should opt for this college. If you have a domicile, it will be a good option for you. And uh, yeah, college life should be better also. So yeah, this is all about the my final verdict about this college, okay? So comment down like you like this college or not and if you need admission in this college just uh, DM on my Instagram or just uh, go to the number I will give in the description and yeah, this is all about this video. If you like this video just uh, like and comment and share it with your friend if any of your friend needs to know about this college or if any of your friend are searching for the private colleges review then just please share my channel to him it will help him a lot so yeah this is all about this video thanks for watching till the end and i'll meet you in the next one bye bye